Hey guys, this is Mac Kids on the one. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to use the SDK for the iPhone. SDK does stand for Software Development Kit, and Apple has provided everyone with this software development kit, whether you pay them or not. Unfortunately, you can't get some of the full features of this without paying to become a developer, but you can currently download the iPhone SDK 2.2.1 for um the latest currently available iPhone OS. There is the 3.0 SDKs, but it's only for developers. I happen to have it, but it's only for developers. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is open up your Xcode. And um, Xcode will be installed on your computer, so you can just go to Macintosh HD Developer Applications, and Xcode will be there, or you can search it. Search Xcode. Okay. But anyway, Xcode comes with the iPhone SDK. So now that you've installed it, you just go up to File, New Project. Then under iPhone OS, you select Application, Window-based Application. Then you click Choose. Now it's going to ask us what to call it. I'm going to call it iCopy iPhone. Okay, so now it looks like the normal Xcode layout. You can still customize your toolbar, do a search, all this stuff. And if you click on the main project, you can select mainmenu.xib. So I selected that. So here's Interface Builder. And the iPhone SDK, it provides us a whole new set of tools that the um, Mac SDK didn't. The Mac SDK uses a framework called Coco to provide you with the great GUI tools such as text fields, buttons, etc. Now their NS text fields, NS stands for next step, but on the iPhone they're called UI so and so, UI text field, UI button, because it's it's not new next step anymore. We're outside of that range. And they didn't want to copy the names. I like this orient people. So we're not in Coco anymore. We are in Coco Touch. So, right here, if you take a look, you can just go up to Tools Library and Tools Inspector to get the Attributes Inspector and Library window. So, if you go under Library Coco Touch Plugin, you can see there are a bunch of controls. So, I'm going to get right started and dragging in controls. So, first of all, I'll drag in a label, make it the whole width of the screen. And I'll center the text. Make it say I copy. Next, I'll drag in a text field and make it a good width. I'll drag in a button. Copy. I'll drag in another text field. In this text field will be what's copying to. So I copy is an application I also demonstrated in the Mac programming that allowed you to type something in one text field, click copy, and it would appear in the other text field, and it would work in the same way backwards. Okay, so this application, all it's going to do is you're going to type in here, click copy, and it'll be in here. You won't be able to do it the other way because that's kind of pointless at this point. So, um, you will notice if you go up to File, Save, and then Quit Interface Builder, that if you build and go in Xcode, the iPhone simulator will appear with your application running in it. You can type something in here, but nothing works when you click Copy. Wouldn't you like it if it worked? So we're not going to open Interface Builder up right yet. So we're going to click on the Classes folder on the side, go up to Action, Add, New File. Now we're going to make it an NS Object subclass under Coco Touch Classes. Select Next and call it App Controller. Okay, so now in App Controller H, inside the Add Interface App Controller NS Object right before the close curly brace, and I'll just zoom in there. 
you're going to type IB Outlet space UI text field space star text field one semicolon. Now on the next line we're going to type another IB Outlet UI text field star text field two semicolon. Now outside the curly brace right before the at end we're going to type dash space left bracket or left um, parenthesis IB action close parenthesis copy strings colon open parenthesis ID close parenthesis sender semicolon so now we're going to copy this last line that says IB action and paste it into appcontroller.m between the at implementation and the at end and um, we're going to get rid of the semicolon and change it with an open curly brace you can get that by pressing holding shift and then pressing the left bracket and hitting enter holding shift and pressing the right bracket to get a closed curly brace so now here's our code in appcontroller.m here's our code in appcontroller.h so I'll just go up to file and save okay so now we'll click back on the main application and find your XIB and double click that so now we have our document window the way you can get to that is an interface builder going up to the window menu and clicking document and this window will appear so in the library you want to find NS object it looks like this and drag it in there. Then under the information tab, under the attributes, I want to set it to the class to be app controller and hit enter. So now it says app controller right there. So now I'll go up to save. So now we have our main window. So what we're gonna do, first of all, we're gonna click on the copy button and hold down our mouse. Hold down control and the mouse, so now you should be holding down control and the mouse, and drag it to app controller, and we're going to click copy strings. Then we'll do the same, except first we click on app controller, hold it, hold control, and drag it over to the first text field. I'm going to call it text field one. Do the same to the second text field, and call it text field two. So now we're done here. We can save and quit. So now if we go to the app controller.m back under classes, between the open curly brace and the closed curly brace, we're going to type left bracket, text field one, space, set text, colon, left bracket again, text field two, space, text, close bracket, another close bracket, semicolon. I'm sorry. Where it says text field one here, change that to two. Change this to one. Okay, now we'll click build. We'll click go. So now I might type in here, Alex, I click copy, appears here. If I type Alex one, click copy, appears there. Type Alex. If I type this is a cool string on 3.0. Okay. We click copy. Yeah, and when you click on this one, it'll clear, and when you click on this one, it clears because Interface Builder does that automatically. So you can mess around with the iPhone SDK a little more, but this is just how to simply tie up your code. So that's all I want to show you. So that is the iPhone SDK for complete beginners. If it doesn't look exactly like this, just download the latest SDK, and if it still doesn't look exactly like this, you may have to customize your toolbar, or this may be a very old video, so check the date on the video. So thanks for watching, Mad Kids on a 1. Subscribe, and goodbye.